Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we finally have for you the unboxing for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and Galaxy Note 10, along with some cases from Samsung. So let's go ahead and check these out. So right here we have the Note 10 Plus, the white, I forgot what the flashy name for it is, but let's just call it white, prism white, white white, whatever they want to call it. The Note 10 Aurora Blue. And a uh, protective case, I got the white one. I hope this is a leather one, because I thought that's what I ordered, but we'll have to wait and see when we open it up. As well as the LED one. So this one, like you can have it just do lights all over the back of it, as well as you can like have a design from them. I'm really kind of curious to test that one out. And the one that I fell in love with at the event, the rugged case for the Note 10 Plus. So we're gonna go ahead and test these all out. Let's go ahead and start with the first one. And that is the regular Galaxy Note 10. This is the Aurora Blue. And I got the uh, basic model for this one, nothing uh, too flashy. Um, this one is one that is replacing my wife's Note 8. So let's go ahead and check that out. So yeah, I would say it's a little less blue than it is uh, than it was at Unpacked. I felt like it was overall blue and then a rainbow color effect, but you can really see it's very prismy uh, like in terms of its design. You have a three uh, color and very one-handed accessible. Now this does come with Samsung screen protector uh, built in I am noticing. Um, the thing I will say about that is that I recommend usually taking it off because the fingerprint scanner does not work that well with it on. So that's just my recommendation. I do recommend taking it off for that reason. Uh, but that's just my uh, immediate thing to let you know about. I will put glass screen protectors on this, probably get them from White Dome Glass and yeah, really kind of make that pop. All right, and then here we have the charging brick that comes with it, which should be the new 25 watt charge. Uh, Samsung did have an older one, but this is a bit different looking. Uh, it doesn't go on the side anymore, and it's type C to type C, instead of the old one was USB A to type C. So that is different. I am very curious about that. And then the AKG headphones which are going to be type C as well. These are braided, which is nice. So definitely gonna give this one to my wife because I know she'll be like, what do you mean I have no headphone jack? And uh, at least you do have the type C headphones. I'm really kind of curious. I'm gonna also test these out in future videos to see if they do work with other devices. The big thing I don't like about type C headphones right now is they're not really cross compatible. So like, can I plug this into another phone and the audio works? Or can I plug this into a laptop and the audio works? So those are the kind of things that I'm hoping to find out. And of course we have the regular adapter, type C to type C now. So uh, please note that because there's no type A cable anymore on these uh, in this box except for this little type C to type A adapter, you still get this one, which I wanna say is a return. I feel like you didn't get this last year, if I'm not mistaken. And then we have the little nub. So I'm going to explain this because a lot of people always don't know what these are for. So I'll explain this in this one. And obviously the box should be the exact same for the Note 10 Plus. But these little nubs uh, that come in here are to replace your pen tips. So if you ever break your pen tips, uh, bust this out and basically you have a little uh, grabber and it looks like it has one black tip and one white tip and you just use this little grabber right here to grab it and pull it out and then you're able to replace the tip. So uh, definitely very important if you are one that happens to break your S Pen uh, often it's always good to have. I like to keep it in the box so that way I know where it is if it happens. But yeah, look at that color, really nice. All right, let's go ahead and quickly put this box case on it. I know it's gonna cover up that beautiful sh color and shimmer, but I just wanna see what this case looks like. So yeah, this is a leather case, which I am happy about. It has like a suede inside and it has a very nice leather back to it. And kind of interesting because the way it doesn't really protect the bottom as much, um, but definitely uh, bumps it with that, especially this part right here. This is really gonna protect your corner very nicely. 
um, in terms of lip protection. So the protection that is in the front of the phone, you definitely have it on the top and bottom, but obviously oh, pretty much none on the side, but if you drop it straight, it still will protect it. So not bad on that side. And definitely I would say helps with the button pronouncement. Uh, the button pronouncement is really good on this case. Keeps a very slim profile. I do think that the white leather obviously might get a little bit dirtier uh, as it goes on, but not bad and feels really nice in the hand. Uh, a little less slippery, although it's leather, so it's not the most until it kind of builds up over time. And then I think you're gonna get a little bit better protection in terms of not letting it slip. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the Note 10 Plus. Now for this one, I did get the white variant. Why did I get the white variant? Because I just wanted to make sure that I got this phone on time. Uh, and funny enough, they both came on the same day. Probably Samsung uh, trying to save money, but some white variants did get released a little bit sooner. Mine didn't because of that. Oh, Let's get started. and the paperwork is actually on this side now. I always forget Samsung is doing that now. So you have your paperwork and your SIM card removal uh, thing right here. And these are the unlocked variants that I got as well. Why did I get the unlocked variants? Well, because Samsung had the best promo on it where I got $600, uh, or up to $600 trade-in, uh, which I did get with my Note 9. And uh, as well as I got up to $200 credit, so totally got about $800 off. Uh, and that obviously I had to buy accessories, but really nice. And so this is the nice, beautiful white color, which I really have to say I'm quite digging. Uh, I just wanted to get something different. I've had the black and the blue for the past couple of years with Samsung smartphones. So I wanted to try the white since we haven't had a white one in a while. So I really just wanted to see how that one looked. Really like it, really like the size of the phone. I like the bigger screen and I am just happy with this. I'm definitely going to take this screen. Actually, you know what? Just to kind of show you guys that I really don't care for these screen protectors. Um, I'm just gonna take this one right off. Now again, this is a plastic one, which is why I don't like it. And again, it really doesn't do well with the fingerprint uh, on there. So I just like to take it off. I'm gonna put my glass screen protector on there, uh, probably ASAP, so that will uh, make up for it. And then the pen, I just realized I haven't talked about the pen on either phone. So uh, this one is the pen that comes with it. White and, and silver buttons for this one. And for the Aurora Glow, we have a blue. Uh, blue button and then silver tip. So just kind of showing those two parts off right here. And just actually making sure, yeah, you get the same pen size for either one actually. So that's kind of interesting. I just wondered for a second if it was going to be smaller or not. Now let me go ahead and try out these cases. So I'll turn this on just in case the LED one comes on. And uh, funny enough, actually it is, I wonder, oh, that is kind of interesting. So if you do get the white one, you actually do get white accessories, which is actually surprising. I did not think uh, that that would happen. So you do actually get the white charger, you got the white headphones. Uh, so it's actually pretty cool that Samsung did that. Like kind of uh, match your feng shui of uh, whichever device you get. No one likes you, shush. Um, so yeah, just kind of see side by side, guys. These are what the phones look like in terms of difference of size. Obviously, I have a case on one right now, and let's go put a case in the other. So let me try this LED one. I'm very curious if it immediately lights up. So LED icon, so you can do specific ones for specific calls. Uh, you can get LED notifications for different things and three, two, one. So you get a, a real accurate timer when taking a photo. So I would love that because I do like taking photos of the actual uh, camera instead of the selfie camera. So let's see if this just automatically kicks on. No, it looks like I probably have to get to the main screen before this one. I will do that before the end of the video. I'll just uh, kind of show that part off. Uh, and I got the black one because the white one did not seem to, you could like see the LED as easily, even though it's a white phone. Probably not gonna be my permanent case, but again, we'll go over that. All right, and then with the rugged case. Now this one is one that I definitely have loved. Uh, I just really have loved the rugged cases in the past, but this one is especially good just because of this 
awesome rubber grip on the side. I really fell in love with it, I unpacked and it has two kickstands uh, for two different angles. So I really like that as well. It's just a slight variation, not too dramatic in terms of the angle of it, but definitely really like it. Let me go ahead and take this LED one off. And I will say the LED feels a little bit thick on the back, uh, actually the in-between part. And I'm assuming obviously it's because it has a row of LEDs on there. And there is that really nice case. Ah, oh, this is definitely gonna be my starter case for sure. And again, that really good lid protection on here, you could just definitely tell it protects this phone all the way around, definitely like that. And yeah, I just, I really love this grip and different kickstands. Showed this at the unpack video, but you can kickstand it like this or like this. So the longer one does do both. And I think the shorter one only does the sideway. I don't know if it actually does. Yeah, see, the shorter one cannot do this kind of kickstand. It can do this if you wanna kind of invert it. If you, obviously the screen can't do it, but if you want to have it at a different angle, you can't have it at this angle. Uh, but yeah, that is the different angles that the kickstand provides. And let me go ahead and set this phone up just so we can see what the LED screen looks like. All right guys, so I got the phone set up with the LED case. And so it doesn't stay on like automatically. Uh, also, it's very, very fingerprinty. So just be cautious of that with this case. It is very fingerprinty, which kind of sucks. I wish Samsung could have done a little bit better job with that. But uh, fingerprint uh, scanner, by the way, is pretty much a lot better than the one on the uh, S10. So you can do mood lighting and basically what this does is it lights up when it's face down. So as soon as you put it down, you can start to see the little LEDs start to go off. So I like that. And it only lasts for about 10 seconds. You can make it longer. You can also do LED icons instead. So if you wanna do a specific icon, you can do that. and just have an icon. Oh, a little animation too. Um, what is infinity? Got a lot of little ones here. Pier mug. So it's a nice little neat thing. That would be mine, of course, the coffee. And you can also have it turn LED icons on when you have this. So maybe like a winking face. I think probably that would be good for like if you had a baby and you're taking a photo of the baby. Kind of like, you know, have that on. Let's check that out. So you can kind of see it lights up when you're in the camera. Overall, pretty cool. And by the way, so it does install this uh, when when it uh, senses the cover. So when it senses the cover, it installs the LED cover app. So that just comes with it as soon as you install it. And you can manage notifications. Uh, I do not have any apps on here right now. I kept it uh, stocked just to quickly get to this. But uh, we'll have to see which kind of ones it does have. I'm assuming it'll have like things like for Actually, Facebook Facebook isn't on there, it looks like, so it might not have LEDs for every app on there. But at the same time, I haven't signed into Facebook, so that might be different as well. Uh, but yeah, overall, kind of curious to see just how this works. Let me know your guys' thoughts, and overall, let's go ahead and take a look at the designs one last time. That is going to be the white. And this is going to be the Aurora Glow. So you can kind of see that is how the two colors look. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you as always so much for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you.
or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.